Hi guys, so as you can see, it's a very foggy day outside, <laughs> and um, uh, just me and another guy is gonna go out hunting. He's gonna go up the mountain, walk a while. I'm gonna go into the forest here and walk to a lake, sit next to a lake, and uh, I'll try to do some moose calls. First time for me, I haven't tried it. Uh, it, it is fairly close to mating season, so someone might answer me if they're in the area. We'll see if I get a date. So if I do, I'm going to rename that high seat the Moose Tinder or something. We'll see. Well, yeah, it's probably not going to go that well, but it's going to be fun. Before there were any roads close by, they built this hunting cabin. So they did it in the winter, they brought all the wood and everything uh, on sleds. And this is an interesting thing. That stick between the trees, that's where they hung the meat when they butchered it, if I remember correctly. And uh, this was like a day walk away from the town where they lived. So they had to carry it all the way back. So hunters still swap this over. Hunters still need to carry their meat if they're like hunting in Alaska or something out in the wilderness. That is tough. I haven't done it myself. Closest thing was carrying uh, uh, red red deer down a mountain in Scotland. <laughs> That's bad enough. But I can't imagine carrying like 200 kilos of moose meat. I guess there were several people who helped out, but yeah. So visibility is not that good right now but I'm guessing this fog will lift sooner or later okay this high seat is kind of built shit see this bar over here makes it so you have to crawl into it and yeah it's it's not super stable so we brought up wood underneath the tarp here and my father is uh, building the structures and everything down down the mountain so yep. so I'm not sure if you if we'll they'll be able to do it while I'm here but we're supposed to redo this they try to fix it by raising the roof and stuff the, the roof ended with that beam from the beginning which is bizarre they had to squ squat inside of it or something but yeah, I'm going up there anyway. Let's see how that goes. Well, there's no use in trying to find moose right now. It is kind of hard to see anything. But I did manage to scare up uh, <clears throat> like 10 grouse just all lifted at the same time kind of wish i had my shotgun with me it's super fun to hunt grouse yeah but i'm hunting moose now and uh, it started raining as soon as i got into the tower or the high seat and uh, i have a tin roof Playing it's the song of its people for me. So yeah, I'm gonna have a cup of tea and hope that the fog lifts. Uh, we'll see. This fog has not lifted. Been here for <laughs> hours now. Or moose are actually kind of intelligent, and they found a cozy place and they're laying prone in that cozy place, and they're not moving around. 
when it's almost lunchtime and uh, this shitty weather. At least it stopped raining, it just poured down a long while. I'm probably gonna give up and uh, head down the mountain. Yeah. <laughs>